I get a lot of DMs asking for advice on certain issues that people are having. So I've decided to start a Dear Abby type of series. We can call it Dear FD. So if you need advice on something and you want it covered in a video, DM me about it. Any identifying details about you will be kept confidential, of course. So here's one to kick things off today. Dear FD, I have been married for 36 years. I have an autistic son who lives with us and will continue to live with us till the day we die. My wife is retired and lives at home and passes the time doing what I consider to be very little. I'm 60 and getting ready to retire. I'm looking forward to my retirement and I want to try new things, achieve and accomplish things. Many of these things and ideas do not include my wife. I am content in my marriage and wish to stay married for the rest of my life. I love my wife, but she is somewhat clingy and doesn't want to experience things by myself, doesn't want me to experience things by myself. She wants to be with me as we do all of them. How should I handle this? I love her, but I want to try and do things on my own sometimes. I want to experience things, make new friends, and develop new hobbies. How much time should I spend with her? Can I do some things myself? What should I say? How should I approach this? What do you think, FD? So first of all, congratulations on entering what many people do call the most exciting and fulfilling season of their life. Regardless of what season of life you are in, how old your children are, etc., I think no relationship or marriage is a healthy one without each person still having their own sense of independence and individuality. Being married does not mean that you have to make that person, your entire world. It's very healthy to have your own time, your own hobbies and interests separate and apart from your spouse. We are not responsible for our spouse's or partner's personal happiness, emotional regulation, and sense of fulfillment. That's their actual work. And sometimes they won't choose that path. So have the conversation with your wife. You know, something like we're entering into our most liberated years. Let's enjoy them. I have these things I want to do for myself. I'm sure there's things you've been wanting to do for yourself. Now is the time. Let's do it. Now, since it sounds like she'll need more encouragement to branch out, you can look for opportunities where you can support her independent behavior. You know, help her create the time for her to do her own thing. Make sure that your son and home are cared for, all of that stuff, because maybe she just needs the emotional and mental bandwidth to relax and enjoy a new hobby. Finally, maybe find one new activity you both can explore together. That way she doesn't feel um, you know, like you're leaving her out in the cold. Keep in mind, if this has been a pattern in your marriage for decades, it's going to be an uncomfortable shift and it will not happen overnight. But I think it's still doable with patience and open and honest communication.